Mr. Yokota, what's wrong? Oh, my wife's in labor, and we went to the hospital. Can you take care of this? You know you could have just called. I just came to get my camera. I'm going to take some pictures of the new baby with this. You're doing great. Keep pushing. Push. Push. Breathe. Oh, there. A healthy baby girl. Oh, I'm a baby girl. My name is Shigeru Yokota. My wife Sakie and I had a baby girl. We named her Megumi. At that moment, our hopes for the future were simple. To have a happy life like anybody else. But that wasn't to be. Megumi, look this way. Okay, cheese. I think that's enough, dear. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> okay, can you take one of us? Uh-huh. Come on, hurry. Yes, yes, here we go. Megumi was a healthy girl, and everyone loved her. Eventually, twin brothers were born, Takuya and Tetsuya. Our family's life was normal and happy. It was exactly as we had dreamed. But destiny was already at work. My job took my family and I to Suirocho in Niigata City, Niigata Prefecture. <laughs> Don't run! You'll fall! And watch out for the cars! Okay, okay. <laughs> Kids have so much energy. Hmm? What about you, Megumi? <laughs> I'm curling up in a ball under the heated table. <laughs> Mom, what was New Year's like when you were little? Well, well, it was Kyoto. All the children in my neighborhood got to wear nice kimonos. Huh? You wore kimonos? That's right, they dye them especially for New Year's and we take our hagoita or New Year's That's rackets delicious. to wear our pokuri. What is pokuri? Well, pokuri is a tall wooden sandal like the one Michael ladies wear. Cool! That's too cool! You know it is New Year's. Do you want to try my old red kimono? <gasps> yes! Yes! Can I? Can I? <laughs> All right, then. Let's put up your hair. In Kyoto, we used to put on a little bit of lipstick and dress up. Hi. Wow! Oh my gosh! Wow! I look so different! I look so much older! I look so good! <laughs> Aren't you the modest one? <laughs> <laughs> Cheese! Megumi, when you're in a kimono, you have to stand with your toes pointed inward. Huh? Okay. That's right. Good! That spring, Megumi entered Yori Junior High. What? You're taking it today? But I still have a rash on my face from the measles, and I couldn't even take a bath, and my hair is all flat. You just can't! But you missed the first day of the school ceremony because you had the measles. We just want to take a photo of you before school starts. 
If we don't take it today, the beautiful cherry blossoms at your Junior High will all be gone. They're in full bloom and so beautiful right now. Then I don't want to take it today. But today's my only day off. Okay, Megumi? Come on, let's go. In another week, all the cherry blossoms will be gone and we won't be able to take a pretty picture. Megumi, today's the only chance. Oh, but Dad, you're going to go on telling me to look this way and that way. It's so embarrassing. Please don't make me. It'll be okay. Today's Sunday. Right. There won't be anyone around now. Come on. Come on. Let's go, Megumi. Megumi. <sighs> Fine. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Remember, your shoes and bag are brand new. Uh-huh. Wait, Megumi. Huh? Let's take one of the front door. Look this way. Uh-huh. Good, good. That's great. You look so pretty, Megumi. Uh, you think so? I don't know if... I like the color. I wish it were a little different. You know what I mean? Really? I think it's very cute. Your new school doesn't give out lunch. You have to take your own. Really? Why? Well, they say it's that... You get a loving meal from your mother. <laughs> That's what the school says, anyway. Hmm. Megumi joined the badminton club, made some good friends, and was enjoying her school days. Hey, Dad! Yes? Uh, here, Dad. Happy birthday! Whoa, what is that? Is it a gift? Oh, wow! <laughs> you have to look cool, Dad. <laughs> No. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Happy birthday, Dad. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, Happy birthday. And then the next day. Uh, morning, Dad. Mm, morning. Yoko, morning. Oh. Zubo's here. Mom, I'm leaving. Dad, see you later. Uh-huh. Oh, Megumi. Huh? It's warm now, but it'll get cold in the evening. Why don't you take your coat? Oh, let me think. It's okay. I don't need it. Okay, see you later. Have a good day. Careful out there. <sighs> Hey, thanks for waiting. Sure. Come on, we're going to be late. Oh, that was the last out. time we saw our daughter. The last time we saw Magumi. Oh, good. Magumi's still playing badminton. Well, I guess as long as I'm here. It's not the badminton team. Hey, Kumi. Um, excuse me. Oh, thank goodness. I'm sorry, but do you know if the students from the badminton club have gone home? Uh, they went home quite a while ago. Uh-huh. I think it was just after six o'clock. 
Megumi, where are you? Megumi, be here. What scary. are you? Mommy, I want to go. Mom, go. It's so scary here. So scary. Let's go home, please. <laughs> Yes? Uh oh, it's me. Honey, come home quickly. Mangum is not back yet. Huh? Well, that's strange. Okay. Megumi. Megumi. Huh? Megumi! That day my humble dream from 13 years ago. That dream of my family living happily together crumbled. And Megumi? She was put on a North Korean spy ship. She had been abducted. did we do wrong? Maybe we were too strict with her. Or maybe she couldn't come to us. And she ran away. No, that's not possible. Megumi wouldn't run away. She's either been kidnapped or she's been in an accident and... for some reason she's not able to come home. So you think she's still alive? Yeah, it'll be okay, I'm sure. Megumi's... well, she's... Uh... <laughs> Time stopped for us that day. And it only started again when... After the Korean air jetliner explosion, the suspect Kim Hyun-hee testified that a Japanese woman named Lee Une was also involved. We also learned that North Korea had been abducting Japanese citizens. Yes, this is Yokota. Oh, what? Megumi? Oh, Megumi is alive in North Korea? We found out that there were others besides Megumi who had been abducted. And so, we began working to save and bring back those abductees. But it was a very hard, 
painful process. We are the parents of Megumi Yokota. She was kidnapped by North Korea 20 years ago. We do not hate nor blame the ordinary North Korean citizens. We are just parents trying to save their daughter who is still being held captive in North Korea. Please, Please help, help us. us. Please, Please help, help us. us. Please. <gasps> Please. Help us. Please. Please. There were rumblings from government officials questioning whether diplomatic relations between Japan and North Korea should be sacrificed for a dozen or so missing people. Despite our best efforts, our government didn't take action. Five years passed without any progress. But then, on this day, Prime Minister Junichiro Koizumi visited North Korea for the first Japan-North Korea talks, and Kim Jong-il, chairman of the National Defense Commission, reversed their long denial and for the first time admitted and apologized that they had abducted Japanese citizens. But the information was that five were alive, eight were dead, and that two had not entered North Korea. Megumi is... Megumi is dead? Honey... I, I won't believe it. North Korea is just saying that. It's not true! I won't believe it! Megumi... Megumi is alive! <laughs> At the same time, we received some unexpected information. We learned that Nagumi had a daughter. Well, I, I, I'd like to meet her once. Uh, uh. Of course, so would I, but... That's right, but if we went, then they'd take us to Megumi's grave, and they'd make us accept her death. And then, we'd never see her again. We wouldn't be able to save her. Yes. Yes, I, I want to meet her, but Megumi and Hei Gong have to come home together. We shouldn't go to see her now. But then North Korea sent us something dreadful. why they want to see us before anyone else. Yes. I wonder why. I've brought back what North Korea claims are the remains of Megumi. <gasps> These are Megumi's remains? We, we won't believe that this is our Megumi. This can't be! You have to analyze it! All right, we will. I also brought back these things. But this is... Megumi! Megumi! <laughs> This is where you were. I'm sorry we haven't been able to save you. I'm sorry we couldn't find you, Megumi. Later, an analysis was conducted. DNA from people other than Megumi was detected in part of what North Korea claimed were the remains of Megumi. Only the gates left. It brings back memories, sad ones, honey. Megumi. Okay, see you later. 
Have a good day. Careful out there. Even now, the sea by Ningata frightens me. Yeah. Promise me we'll save Megumi, honey. Promise me. Of course we will. But there's a limit to what just the two of us can accomplish. We need more. More people to help us. I am Megumi Yokoda's mother. I believe that people working hard in that country won't be easily released. I cannot accept their reports while we don't have information, not even the date of her death. I ask you all to continue reporting in earnest about these young Japanese citizens who have for so long been forgotten. Please think about the hearts of those who lived through pain and of those who might have died for Japan. We have been working hard together and we've been able to uncover a huge political issue. This is very important for Japan and also for North Korea. Megumi was a victim of this. I believe that she fulfilled her destiny. Everyone dies eventually. I will continue to strive on with the belief that Megumi has left a deep footprint in this world. And I will continue to fight together with you all. I am so grateful to everyone who has shown their love for Megumi and for all of the media coverage and to all who still pray for her. I will continue fighting for her with the belief that she is still alive. Thank you very much. Megumi, speak to me and say that you will soon be by my side. Return to me, Megumi. Megumi comes back home, I want to show her the new modern Japan. I'd like to stretch out and lie with her in a big field, gazing up at the sky. I ask you not to forget the abductions. It took away our freedom. It must never be repeated. Presently, the Japanese government has confirmed 17 people as abductees of North Korea. Of these, however, only five have been able to return to Japan. The Japanese government continues the investigation of the remaining 12 people, as well as the others who may have been abducted by North Korea. Abduction is a grave violation of human rights. It threatens the safety and the lives of the Japanese people. The Japanese government created the headquarters for the abduction issue and has continued to press North Korea to return all abductees as soon as possible.